Well, good evening and welcome to Cesare or Buonasera e Benvenuti out of Sardinia, as the locals would say. Tonight, we are in the Palace Sport Sera di Mini as Dinamo Basket Cesare play host to MHP Riesen of Ludwigsburg, Germany. It's game day six in this Group A E clash between tonight's two teams. This is the Basketball Champions League. Well, my name is Liam Canney, and it is my distinct privilege to be with you tonight. As always, a very warm welcome to you from wherever it is in the world that you are joining us. We are here tonight in Sardinia, just off the west coast of Italy, smack dab in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, which is a glorious place to be in Europe during the month of November. Here's a look at the slate of games. Game day six, right at the top of the list. It's Dinamo Sassari, the hosts, against MHP Riesen Ludwigsburg in this Group E clash to come. Well, it's the dawning of a new day in European basketball. The new competition, the Basketball Champions League, as we bring you to new cities, new venues, new sites on the new horizon of European basketball. Are you looking at the players just going through their final minutes of warm-up as we show you the standings in Group E. The Siktas, the last unbeaten team in the competition, right at the head of the list in first place in Group E. And we can see MHP Reason there in third, Dinamo Sassari in fifth position respectively. MHP Reason bring a 3-2 and two record into tonight's game. By contrast, the hosts, Sasa, are 
two and three in the competition thus far. Shutakel Cotton just getting a few free throws in here in advance of tonight's tip off. Here's the lineup for the visitors. MHP Reason Ludwigsburg led in scoring by the American Jack Cooley right down there at the bottom of the list but right at the top of the production as far as the club is concerned Cooley averages 16 points per game and just a shade under seven rebounds Cooley had a torrid patch three games in the middle of the season where he missed just one shot through three games Let's see what sort of temperament he brings into tonight's game and here it is the lineup for the hosts they're paced and scoring by the American at the top of the list, Darius Johnson Odom with 15.4 points per game. And then Stipcevic, Josh Carter, and Trevor Lacey collectively throw in 10 points apiece. Well, it is Lippensburg in the dark uniforms. Just gathering their thoughts here before we tip it off tonight. Ludwigsburg in the domestic league, the German Bundesliga, presently have a 6-5 and five record. They sit in sixth position in the league, so sort of mediocre start to the season, if you like, for them. Here they are here in the sunny climes of the Mediterranean. Let's see if this will bring them some good fortune tonight and then further into their domestic league as they make their way onto the floor. Reason the club founded in 1960. There's Jack Cooley right there, number 45. He'll play inside for them. The bang, the floor on the interior will the match of the University of Notre Dame. He's enjoying another season as a professional. He used to play for Malaga. So uh, it's a home away from home of sorts back here in the Mediterranean Sea for the American from Evanston, Illinois. And now the home team. Nino Sassari led out by their leading scorer, Darius Johnson Odom. Sassari in their domestic league, the Italian Serie A, also sits in sixth position with a four and four record. So just like Ludwigsburg, having a lackluster start to the season. There's Dusko Savanovic, the Serbian, the former Serbian international. There's the president of the Croatian international, Luke Stutovic. So they'll bring all kinds of experience to the floor tonight for the home team. And the players will meet at midcourt, exchange a token of tonight's game, as will the coaches. Coach John Patrick at the helm of the MHP club, and Federico Pasquini, the Dinamo Sassari coach. So with the pleasantries completed, Everyone wants to shake hands with the referees. Now everyone wants to put a good word into the ear of the referees before the game starts. The pleasant trees completed. The players can settle down now and do a couple more minutes of warm-up in advance of tonight's game day six tip-off in the Basketball Champions League. Well, fans, here's our tonight's combined officiating crew from Bosnia, Herzegovina, Slovenia, and France, respectively. Remember, the Basketball Champions League is a professional basketball competition for clubs from over 30 countries around the continent of Europe. Although launched by FIBA, the Basketball Champions League is actually a separate company based in Switzerland. It is a joint partnership between the world's governing body, FIBA, and the European League. Here's the starting five for Ludwigsburg. It's a surprise that Jack Cooley doesn't start. Coach Patrick likes to run guys in and out. So uh, keep an eye out for players as they come and go on the floor for that man right there. Coach Patrick in his collegiate basketball at Stanford University. Played his high school basketball at the Catholic, Catholic in Maryland. One of the most storied high school basketball programs in the United States. So a man who will know his way around the hardwood, no doubt. Here's the starting five for the home team. The American Lacey, Jusko Savanovic, Stipcevic is the point guard, and the English player, Gabriel Olesheny, will start in the pivot. Josh Carter rounds out the starting five for the 
club known as Sasa. Their coach here, Federico Pasquini, is gathering his thoughts before he sends his troops out onto the floor. Well, it's a purple patch of good form for the club, you know, Basket Sassari. They've had a really good couple of years. 2015, they won Serie A, the top division of the Italian League. They also won the Italian Cup, so they did the double in 2015. And last year, they played in the EuroLeague, knocked out at the regular season stage. So plenty of international experience for the Sassari players. As for Ludwigsburg, last season, two were on a European journey. They played in the Euro Cup, advanced to the second stage of the competition. So those experiences will do the players no end of good in tonight's game. They find themselves again on the European stage. Ludwigsburg, the highest heights they have achieved in the Bundesliga. They were runners up back in 2007. And in that same season, they advanced to the semifinals of the German Cup. German basketball really in the ascendancy. Rosa Basket, Alba Berlin, Bayern Munich. Some clubs really making noise in the continent of Europe. And of course, the national team qualified for Eurobasket. Fans, remember, this afternoon was the draw for the forthcoming Eurobasket, the European Championships of Basketball, which will be in multiple countries coming up in September. So keep an eye out for the groups. We have got plenty of basketball for you. You can see all of it on livebasketball.tv. But uh, let's not look ahead too far yet because we've got a, another clash here in the Basketball Champions League to come. In this game day six group E contest between Sasa and MHP Reason. We are in the Palace Sports Roberta Sara Demini, try to say that five times fast. It's about 5,000 fans and built originally in 1951. It was refurbished in 2009. It is the home venue for the Sassari Club. Sassari, the second largest city on the island of Sardinia. As I mentioned in my opening comments, we're just west of Italy, just off the coast in the Mediterranean Sea, to the south of Corsica the north of Sicily. Sardinia is the third, I beg your pardon, the second largest island in the Med. Sicily being the largest in Cyprus. Just behind it in terms of size. The city of Sassari, 125,000 people call Sassari their home. Well, the players are on the floor. It'll be Sassari in the home whites. And MHP Reason in the road, dark. Dark gray uniforms with yellow flashes for the numbers. We've got some queen blaring here in the arena. The referees get ready to step into the center circle. Well, here it is, Group E, game day six of the Basketball Champions League. The ball's in the air, we're underway. The opening possession to the home team. Sassari trying to unlock this man to man defense here from Ludwigsburg. Savanovic trying to break down his defender. Good defense by Ludwigsburg. First possession results in a turnover for Sassari. Drive down the lane, the teardrop shot up and good. So Ludwigsburg draw first blood. The strength of that dribble drive from Tekel Cotton. And Cesari respond here now. This trip down the floor. Now into the low pose to Savanovic who kicks it out. That three attempt strikes the back of the rim. Ludwigsburg come back the other way. Three on the way, that's off the mark. Cotton couldn't knock it down. We've got our first foul of the evening. 
called against David McCray, just trying to fight his way around that high ball screen. His first and the team's first. Well, fans, remember, you can follow all of the live in-game statistics on the Basketball Champions League website. It's all the w's.basketballcl.com. You can track the performance of your favorite players. Now you watch the images and listen to the sounds of this new competition. And line ball here for Sasari. Down on the shot clock. Stipcevic directing traffic. Stipcevic has to pick up the loose ball. He'll get in the lane. His little runner's off the mark. Attempt to save it. Ends up in the hands of Ludwigsburg. Kick to the corner. Good spacing by Ludwigsburg. Pass just off the mark. A little bit scrappy now. So Hammonds calls for the high ball screen. He'll kick. Shots on the way. That is short. Calvin Martin with the miss. Sorry, come right back the other way. That three attempt also off the mark. So good pace and tempo from this one. Dribble drive, no good. I think we're going to get basket interference. With the trail referee, it's a foul. So the foul, Josh Carter. Try to protect the basket. Still a drive here from Martin. Maybe we're going to get some basket interference. You see Carter slap the backboard, and it is. It is a. Yeah, that, that's what I thought the call was, and sorry for that graphic. So it is, in fact, a basket interference call. The basket's good for Ludwigsburg. Sorry, you have to score. Stipcevic coughs it up. Another steal for Ludwigsburg. Cotton couldn't turn it into points. Now he'll take a look at a long three. Count it. What to count Cotton? Missed the lay-in. Somehow got on the end of the loose ball and knocks down the three. So the visitors off to a perfect start. They lead 7-0 here in the first three minutes of this one. Tell Cotton couldn't convert the layup. It was a contested shot. It's an all credit to him. Chased down the loose ball, found himself in space, and pulled the trigger on a three. Jack Cooley checks in for the visitors. Stipcevic off two baseline screens, couldn't shake free. Step back, jump shot. That's good. Right in the death of the shot clock. And Sasari have finally opened their scoring account. It's Carter with the individual effort. That'll help the team settle. Here's Cooley. Cooley wants it in the low post. Shows his numbers. Shows the foul. Against Gabriel Olesheny. Olesheny, member of the Great Britain national team. Does a good job defending Cooley there with his arm bar. See the foul as he was trying to establish defensive position just after that. Martin. Martin with a hard nose, dribble drive. His reverse layup too strong. Savanovic apologizes to his teammates. He almost turned it over for a second time in this quarter. here on Kel Cotton as he knocks himself on the head. A little reach right there. His footwork was really good. You know, Cotton got across the top of the screen. That's usually the hardest bit of defending screen roll basketball. So he had himself in a good position defensively, but just stuck his hand in. He got called for the reach. Stipcevic makes the entry pass to the wing. Shot clock at five. Here's Savanovic now in the low block. 
little turnaround shot. Quick release by Savanovic. Didn't quite get squared, but knocked down the bank shot. Cooley again shows his numbers. Cooley showing good patience in the post. Picks up the double team. Skips it across. Good recognition by Cooley. He felt the double team coming from the baseline. And then shared the basketball with Cotton, who duly knocks down the three. Nothing but net for the man called Tekel Cotton. So, call three side now. When we play three side, what I want to see, guys, is be ready to attack immediately if he's DJ or, or Josh is the same. The reason, go ahead with pick and roll. Come back in defense, quick. You are playing double on him. So when the ball is here, try to deny compete in the middle. Also before they receive the ball, go on three quarter. Okay? Hey, guys, come on, hey, come on, let's go, come on. Look at the Keep shout there from Coach Patrick. He wants to get his half court set on his fist down. Chad Topford gonna step into the game. So we'll try to get you inside the huddles. We can keep benches as often as we can. As many of the coaches communicate to their players in English. Sasari, the Stipcevic, the Croatian, and Savanovic. The Serbian and the American players. This is the universal language is English. Modern basketball. Nice pass to Carter on the wing. Little up fake to create space. Good individual move by Josh Carter. He ran hard to get open off the screens. And the head and shoulders fake. Got him some space. Now, Chad Toppert looking to get the ball here. Up the screen from Cooley. He shot just in and out. Good execution by Ludwigsburg. They got the look they wanted. Better work by Cooley. So Ola Shaney's going to have to check out here with his two fouls. You see the presence of Cooley. He is a hard nosed player, is Jack Cooley. A two meter six. And then he gets after it. Here's Topper. Fans out to the wing. That shot up the mark, follows it up, and he missed the layup inexplicably. Toppert did everything right as a shooter. He followed his shot, just missed a little chippy one inside. Stipcevic. Good ball work here by Cesari. Savanovic knocks down a three, so good execution of the high screen and roll. And as the screener dove to the basket, Savanovic stepped away. Opened up the three-point opportunity. So sorry, within two. Cooley, that's an easy lay-in for Jack Cooley. We'll see if Lugusberg go back to that low post insertion because Cooley scored ever so easily there. Good steal here by Lugusberg. It's Gonzalez. Toppert didn't really want it. Got it! Jack Toppert. It's a Dunkerson for the pass. Wasn't expecting it. It pushes that lead back out to seven points off the third turnover from Cesari. Savanovic, can he make another three? He can! Oh, a deep three by Jusko Savanovic. The perfect response for Cesari. And you can't fault the defense there. Savanovic was closely guarded. Cooley gets called for the travel. I see that move again. I thought it was a foul, to be honest. This was like, not really. So Cooley will step out, having turned the ball over. Placed by Johannes Tiemann. Coach Patrick likes to use his bench liberally. Players in and out. 
Rodgers. Three to play here in the opening stand, stanza. Savanovic's shot not dropping for him. And Savanovic. Two for four from the floor so far. Three attempt from Reason off the mark from Kone. Just stepped into the game. His first touch and he shoots it up. Penetration. There's Savanovic on the right hand. Hoppert with the foul. So it's the fifth team foul against uh, Ludwigsburg. Sends Savanovic to the charity strike. Just goes Savanovic. Plenty of international experience. Former member of the Serbian national team, played in the World Cup back in 2010 in Turkey. 2011, represented this country in the European Championships in Lithuania. So on the back of his two free throws now, Cesari show a little bit of pressure up the floor. Ludwigsburg. Good pass inside. But Tiemann lost it. Cesari now with a chance to draw level or go ahead. They've trailed the whole first quarter from the opening tip. Savanovic bangs. Step through. Oh, Savanovic, what a terrific move. It wouldn't fall for him. But the perfect follow up from the Lithuanian, Ludeka. And Watch this as Dalvidis Lideka says, I'm in the building, everybody. Good follow up by the big Lithuanian. Sorry, showed some zone that last possession defensively as not previously Decca steps onto the floor. Let's see if they persist with the zone or if they come out in some man to man. Looks like they're going to show some press here, the home team. Some man pressure on the floor. Broken here now by Ludwigsburg. Losing at the point for the German side. He draws a foul. Third team foul on Cesari. Decole. Fifteen each, two fifteen to play. Defense by Savanovic. Losing, trying to get free. Good defense here by Cesari. His foul on Tripoli again, so he's second in quick succession. And Cesari now with the 14 fouls, the next one. Sends a shooter to the free throw line. Losing with 10 of the shot clock. Wants the high ball screen. Gets it. Oh, right down Main Street for the missed dunk by Ludwigsburg. Martin found himself in plenty of space. Couldn't finish it off. 
And Johannes Tiemann shows him how to do it with the finger roll. What an athletic move from Martin. Just couldn't finish off the play. Here's Carter now. Across the midcourt stripe. Darius Johnson Odom. Finally arrives in the game. Less than two to play here in the opening stanza. Odom to Carter. And Carter fouled in the act of shooting. It's Chad Toppert with the foul. Just a silly play really here from Toppert. Closes out on the shooter, which is good, but it's a touch on the hand of Carter. And it's the hardest defensive skill, closing out shooters. Toppert just needs to be a little smarter there. Carter, the 30-year-old American, played his collegiate basketball at Texas A&M. He's a third team, all Big 12 selection, senior season. Dallas, Texas originally. Moves to a three. 17 each, with a buck and change to play. Inside the team, and team and wants to bang. And Ledecka with the steal. Good defense by Tautvinas Ledecka. Savanovic, nifty spin in the lane and converts. Cisco Savanovic showing an array of skills here in these opening 10 minutes. He scored on a three, scored inside. Cesari again, back in that 2-3 zone. Just trying to change the complexion of the game ever so slightly into the high post. Team in. Good offensive play by Tiemann. Just gave Ledeck a little lift of the eyebrows. Watch this up fake from Tiemann. Show and go. And then Ledeck comes right down on Tiemann. You'll definitely feel that one. So Tiemann will toe the line. 22-year-old German. Oh, 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 oh. The scoreboard ticking over here for Ludwigsburg. Trier, Germany, originally. And it's been a member of the under-18 and under-20 German national team, so incoming prospect. Waiting seconds now of this first quarter. Cesari got their noses in front. Just trying to extend that lead here. This trip down the floor. Johnson Odom, the left-handed sharpshooter. And his shot in every part of the basket but the bottom. So now Ludwigsburg with a chance to get themselves in front here. Just a split-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Flip Hammond wants to while some seconds off the clock. Gets it back on a little handoff. Drives. His pass. And Hammond just lost, lost track of the shot clock. Tried to move it on to Broenig. So Lubersburg quite scoring. As I mentioned, there is a split second differential. So half a second left here now on the shot clock violation for Cesari to try and get some points. The heaving hope is on the way, and it's off the mark. Lorenzo Dercole with the optimistic shot. And so at the end of one quarter of play here on game day six in group E of the Basketball Champions League, Dinamo Cesari up a penny, 19-18, against the visitors from Ludwigsburg. Hey, 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 the key, hey, the key is when we have patience and we are able to arrive at the second pick and roll, they are not playing defense. So what we need is screen, roll, 
a re-screen coming here we go and we need to be aggressive about that now call a hey, call three up for you and you go inside and come out for play pick and roll or four down for brian inside okay talking about defense Yeah, look to roll hard and attack their big guys, okay? Don't worry about the rest, because we can get any shot we want. Yeah. We can get any shot we want. Let's get up into them in the full court, okay? When they call this, it's a mid-pick and roll. Yeah. And we need... Well, here are highlights from the first quarter of play. It's been evenly balanced between both teams. Ludwigsburg can be pleased with their performance so far on the road. They've got themselves right in this one. The pace and scoring have the visitors by Tikal Cotton with his eight points. And this for the home side, Kino Sasari. Sivanovic with ten points, so good production from the serve in the opening quarter. Josh Carter with seven. So two players doing the bulk of scoring. The only other basket by Tadvidis Ledeca with that authoritative dunk and the miss. So Sasari is riding the back of two players. First possession here now to Ludwigsburg. Cotton, Cooley, free throw line. That shot short. Out of the pack comes Sasari. It's Johnson Odom! And he's called for the travel. Well, Johnson Odom was looking for free throws when he heard the whistle. I think the referee's got this right, to be honest. Certainly to my naked eye. I think the footwork was a little bit unorthodox. A little Euro step there from Darius Johnson Odom. 27-year-old American with his first turnover. Great ball movement by Ludwigsburg. And an offensive foul call. Well, let's try to get the starting five sorted out here for you now at the beginning of the second quarter. So Ludwigsburg come out with Hammonds, Cotton, David McRae there with the offensive foul, Calvin Martin and Jack Cooley. And Cesari start this quarter with Johnson Odom, Devecki, Dercole, Sacchetti, and Lideka. Second violation. And Sacchetti, who gets called for, and it's a palming violation. Sacchetti just pleading his case. It's in the book as a turnover. Sorry, back into the man-to-man -man defense to start the second quarter. Looks like we've got some contact away from the basketball. Ryan uh, uh, I think you can see it here on his replay. Oh, Cooley. Cooley just trying to set a screen. He sent a bone-crushing screen, and sadly, Sacchetti's come up with some blood. Cooley just took a step to his right just to try and... Establish the screen last second before Sikhetti can get through. Let's hope he's okay. That is Jack Cooley. At his best. He is a hard-nosed player. Nothing ma no malice in that. Cooley just gets called for the moving screen. Now Cesari will try again and get the opening score here of the second quarter. Ludwigsburg have played man-to-man -man throughout this game. Extra pass to the corner. Cesari with some good ball work. And Lorenzo Dercole profits from the extra pass, knocks down the three. Into Cooley in the low post, draws a double team. Gets called for the travel. So this is the second time now that Cesari have brought 
the double team from the baseline side. That is sometimes hard for post players to pick up because Cooley doesn't recognize the double team until he turns around. The players, post players will look over the shoulder to go into the lane. And so doing, sometimes they miss players coming from the baseline side. Well, here on David McCray. David McCray just putting his hands on Johnson Odom. He's called a hand check. Shot clock under 10 now for Dinamo Basket Cesari. Dercole. Dercole. Nice pass. Great pass by Dercole to Lideka. Lideka is perfect two for two so far. Both those shots coming from inside the halo. Now Coley wants it in a low block. Skips the pass, recognizes the double team. Great spacing by Ludwigsburg. Great passing by Cooley. Cotton knocks down the three. He was open like church on Sunday with plenty of time to thread that one. Pass from Johnson Odom intended for Ludeka. Deflected out of bounds by Ludwigsburg. Johnson Odom steps off a pin down screen. Shot rattles in and out. Cotton slides the pass inside to the low post. Just needed to wait a little second for the post player, in this case Martin, just to establish some firm and solid position. Martin will be charged with the turnover, but certainly Cotton shares a bit of culpability as well. Mid-range jump shot from the baseline, smooth as you like. Trevor Lacey with his first points. Sorry, open up the block. Cooley and Hammonds collectively turn it over. Little drag screen from Lideka. Lacey weaves. Lacey rises. No good. And Lideka goes with reckless abandon to the offensive glass. The foul is going to be on Cooley, but Cooley didn't know much about it, to be perfectly honest. Watch this. Here's the miss. Now watch Lideka. He's going to shuffle Cooley out of the way. Two big paws on it. Draws the foul. So we'll take a break here in the Basketball Champions League from Sardinia. Game day six here in Group E on this new horizon of European basketball. Tighten up our defense. Come on. First of all, they have the ball out of bounds, I think. Yeah, we got 14 fouls. We need to be solid. But on offense, we need to run something. here in the Honda Sport, Sarah Dimini. I want to shout out to any Italian fans who are joining us tonight. Watching their club, Dinamo Basket Cesari, sometimes known as Sasa. Lacey kicks. Three on the way! Well, great execution by Cesare. Dercole 
knocks down his second three tonight. And Cesari have opened up their largest lead of the evening at eight points. Cesari staying now two three zone into the high post and down low. Great high low action by Ludwigsburg. The easy lay in for Jason Boone, who's checked into the game for Cooley. Just a perfect way to unlock a zone by Ludwigsburg. Hit the high post, who looks down to the low. Easy two. Johnson Owen trying to find space and gets called for the travel. Second turnover for Johnson Odom. And the seventh turnover for Sasari as a team. This will give Ludwigsburg a chance to reduce the deficit they face. As Martin steps out. Chad Toppert checks in. What well, a devastating screen by Boone. And Compton! with the two-handed cram jam. We've got a player on the floor. Let's hope he's okay. I didn't see the screen away from the ball to Kel Cotton. Finishes off the play. And sportingly comes over to the injured player. So Cotton with the easy slam. You see he's got a Sasari player on the deck. It's a hard-nosed screen from Boone. It's the second tough screen now that Ludwigsburg have set. And it looks like the player on the floor is just winded. Caught the shoulder of Boone. I don't think uh, there's any foul play in this. Boone has good body position. Feet were planted. And it's uh, Gercole who looks like he's winded. I'm just going to tell him the license plate number of the truck who hit him. Hope that he can carry on, especially for Cesari fans. Oh, it's Devecki. Giacomo Devecki. He has to come out. He's pleading his case. So Giacomo Devecki steps out of the game. 31-year-old is going to get some treatment from the physio. There's Lacey. Calls the play. Chad Toppert, call for the screen here as he's holding Jusko Savanovic. You can't blame him. Savanovic with his 10 points in the first quarter. Somebody's going to try and keep an eye on him. Lacey's just working the referees. Well, Savanovic will know a lot of these players. Played in the Bundesliga last year for Bayern Munich. Was a German League All-Star, so he would have played against the players from Ludwigsburg in the German League last season, last couple of seasons. So was with Bayern for two seasons was Savanovic. Cesari in the 2-3. Pass inside to Boone. Boone's been establishing good position right in the middle of that zone. Decker called for the foul on the interior. Catch the push. Put his hands into the shoulders of the post player for Ludwigsburg. And he'll step out to be replaced by Ola Shaney with his two fouls. So the Britson replaces the Lithuanian. And Boone with a finger roll. Well, Boone just slid by Ola Shaney ever so easily. Good footwork there by Boone. Now some pressure up the floor from Ludwigsburg. Can they generate a turnover? They can. So Ludwigsburg throw a surprise press. That's Cesari who weren't prepared for it. Good call by Coach Patrick. Put the press on. It pays its dividends for him. Cotton, mid-range jump shot from the elbow. Got some love from the rim to the American. A bigger part, it is Hammonds who knocks down the two. And Cliff Hammonds, his first basket of the night, and it inches Ludwigsburg ever closer 
to Sassari in this Basketball Champions League game. So play side. You play defense on this motherfucker, number 21. Yes. We play every time one against one. Hey, you cannot stay three meters behind fucking ammo. That is right. Now in offense, we play five sides. I want the ball come in your hand. And from here, attack on this pick and roll. We must take foul. Look, this shot is not going to hurt. Jason, extend and get back quick. This guy's here. This guy's here. Don't give him this pass to the corner. Hey, Big, you can help him if he's just a little higher to begin with. A little higher. So then Some soft rims here in the Mediterranean. And Hammonds benefits from that. As the saying goes, though, you only get the shooter's roll when you shoot a lot of the gym at home. This time, Sasari recognized the press. Still have to get it across the midcourt stripe. It's going to be close. A good pressure by Ludwigsburg. Now what the press does is it takes Sasari out of their half court set. They've lost time getting established. Long shot short. Hammond with the long rebound. It's a three on two with Ludwigsburg. Martin converts. And as you would expect, we come out with some more pressure up the floor. Stipcevic across the half court line. Good fluency now by Sasari. Jason Boone with the foul. So Ludwigsburg, who trailed by as many as eight by one. Savanovic has something to say about this, the 33-year-old Serbian. Actually born in Zagreb, Croatia. Declared to play internationally for Serbia. Serbian basketball also in resplendent form. Olympic silver medalist in the Rio Games this past summer, losing to the Americans in the finals. So silver medalists in the last World Cup in 2014 in Spain, again losing to the U.S. So a good little rivalry developing between those two countries in international basketball terms. Three ball attempt off the mark by McRae. Had plenty of time to look at it. Just couldn't knock down the shot. Lacey on the crossover. Oh, Lacey did he? He did. Yeah, just got his footwork fouled up. Yeah, he has no right of appeal there. There's no doubt about this travel. Even Coach Pasquini is not arguing. Cotton on the wing. Strip. Lacey comes up with it. Can he finish in traffic now? Lacey! Can't do it. Great hustle play. As to Kel Cotton. He's played some good transition defense. But Ludwigsburg can't turn it into points. Hammonds just lost the handle. Hammonds doesn't want a hands up from the Sasari player. He wants a teammate. And then Hammonds quite sportingly says, look, coach tells us we got to help each other up. Appreciate the effort, but... If my teammates don't pick me up, coach is going to get after them. A good little vignette there between the players. Stipcevic to helm now for Sasari. Great defense by Ludwigsburg. As they're shooting passing lanes. Martin couldn't get on the end of that one. Pass to the corner! And the three ball is off the mark. It's Sacchetti with the miss. He's fouled in the 
act of shooting. And it's uh, Marty Brodnik with the foul. So on the second occasion now, we've got a three-point shooter for Sasari foul. point tonight for Brian Cicchetti. Cicchetti has played some international basketball with the Italian national team as a under 18 and under 20. Part of the same generation of players that's produced Luigi Datome. And Italian basketball also in good form internationally with the likes of Gentile, Bellinelli, Tome, Bagnani, Gallinari, real good talent for Italy. Ludwigsburg chasing four points. Martin tries to score over Sacchetti. Sacchetti stands tall. Pass ahead. Can Carter score in transition? Good foul here by. Brad losing, losing having a strong word here with Martin. Good defense there by losing. He's got a case. <laughs> Losing's got to plead his own case with Coach Patrick. This Josh Carter toes the line. Texas started his professional career with the Oldenburg Club. Another one of his Americans who has suitcase, has jump shot, will travel. Played in Israel, Turkey, Russia, and Italy. Some half court pressure here from Sasari. Changed the complexion of the game ever so slightly. Cooley back in the game. Cooley with a step through. Well, Jack Cooley set the high screen, dove to the basket, and did ever so well to keep his footwork there. Wasn't it an easy finish for Cooley? Now Cooley has to dig in and defend Savanovic. The veteran, Savanovic, bangs a bit, gets space. Again, his shot off the glass wouldn't fall. Ludwigsburg, now again, it's Martin. Cooley has to step now to the perimeter to get in. And I think it's a turnover here. It's Kelvin Martin steps out of bounds. For Ludwigsburg, it's their 12th turnover, so Coach Patrick won't be happy about that. He'll be chatting about turnovers. Coaches don't like any turnovers at all, but times they sent well they set I beg your pardon totals of 10 to 12 in a game Ludwigsburg with 12 turnovers here in this opening half so sorry now trying to extend their lead it has been as large as eight Sipcevic rises for the three that strikes the front of the rim and Lacey with the offensive rebound for Sasari. His pass to the corner. Carter lets fly. That's no good. And another offensive rebound. This trip down the floor as Lacey chases down the loose ball. It's four offensive rebounds for Sasari this half. Jump hook by Savanovic. Off the mark to some groans from the arena. Cooley, well, Savanovic did just enough to break up that pass because Cooley had good interior position deep. Now Hammonds has to get off the sideline. Ludwigsburg don't have good floor balance. And Savanovic with the foul. Well, Savanovic broke up what was a good pass intended for Cooley inside. 
to really unsettle the offense of Williamsburg. They couldn't get themselves oriented. So sometimes when that happens, throw it into the big guy. Right at the death of the shot clock, Jack Cooley is back to the foul. Cooley with four points so far this evening. 2013 graduate of the University of Notre Dame. In 2012, he was a Big East most improved player. The following season, he was first team all Big East. And unfortunately for fans of American collegiate basketball, the Big East is no more. Well, closing seconds here in this first half as Cooley missed both free throws for Ludwigsburg. Stipcevic, the veteran, trying to take precious, precious seconds off the clock. It's Gonzalez with the foul. It's a reaching foul there by Gonzalez. It's, uh, it's a silly foul, really. Gonzalez with four seconds on the clock. And we'll send it to the free throw line. Sorry, we've got fouls to give. So it's one thing if Gonzalez fouls early in the shot clock to give yourself an opportunity to come back and score. But with four seconds, Ludwigsburg really won't get much of an opportunity. Of course, so sorry, we've got two fouls to give. So Gonzalez just has to keep his composure there. Sacchetti nets the first free throw. And the second. So can Lucasburg get the ball to the floor quickly? The heave and hope on the way. Strikes the backboard. And off the mark by losing. And at the end of 20 minutes of play, the home side, Dinamo Sassari, a slender lead in this one on game day six in group E of the Basketball Champions League, Sassari. Lead by six, there's your halftime score, 39-33. Well, fans, stay with us as we break this one down with some stats to analyze this opening half of basketball. This team's right on track from behind the three-point line. 40% is a good total as a team. The assists, the team's moving the ball around. Those five offensive rebounds for Cesare, they'll be a talking point for Coach Patrick in the huddle. And those 12 turnovers will also catch the eye of Coach Patrick as he chats to his players, the MHP Ludwigsburg players in the halftime changing room. Here are the leaders in the respective categories, Savanovic and Cotton with 13 respectively. And having a good first half for the visitors, leading in each category. And now the distribution of scoring. So it's Carter and Savanovic doing most of the work. Yerkole with those two threes. Ludwigsburg looking for some offensive production from somebody else besides Tikel Cotton. Well, fans, we will leave you now with some. Highlights from these opening 20 minutes of play. Get yourself a break here in 10 minutes. Come back and join us for continuing coverage of this game day six group E game between Dinamo Sassari and MHP Ludwigsburg.
Welcome back, everyone, to Sardinia. Welcome back to Sassari, where it is halftime in this Group E game between the hosts, Dinamo Basket Sassari, and the visitors from Germany, MHP Reason Ludwigsburg. Here are the visitors. This game has seesawed back and forth. Sassari led by as many as eight points, but Ludwigsburg led for most of the first quarter. Taking a look at the distribution of scoring. Just joining us, Ludwigsburg paced offensively by Sakel Cotton with his 13 points. The only player in double digits for the visiting side. As for the hosts, Jusko Savanovic has 13. And Josh Carter with nine. Sorry, presently lead by six points but as I mentioned they did lead by as many as eight as you look at coach John Patrick on the right talking to members of his staff both of these teams sitting in group E MHP the better of the two records they have a three and two record coming into tonight's game you know sorry with a two and three record so the players will have received their instructions from the coaches we'll see what types of alterations both coaches made so Patrick stayed in straight man-to-man -man defense in the half court Showed a little bit of pressure on the floor and it did pay dividends at time as for Cesare they mixed in 
2-3 zone with their half court man. Patrick now just give his charge just a few more gems of his knowledge. Let's see how they come out trying to secure a win here on the road. See the greats and the good are filling up the arena. Moving off to the vendors to get their halftime refreshments. Coach Federico Pasquini for Dinamo Cesari. Here's a look at the distribution of scoring by quarter. So Cesari very consistent, 19 and 20 points respectively. You can see the score line suggests that they've led the whole way, but in fact, Ludwigsburg led for most of the first quarter. Let's get the starting fives sorted out. So the home team, Dinamo Basket Cesari, come out with Stipcevic, Carter, Savanovic, Lideka, and Johnson Odom. Ludwigsburg show man-to-man -man defense. Here's Savanovic on the perimeter. Moves it on one and then offers himself as a screener. Picks and pops, steps back for the three. That's too strong. Carter with the rebound. A little space dribble to bang. Couldn't convert the layup and again some groans. A good change of pace by... Kel Cotton who scores easily in transition. Ludwigsburg come out to start this half with Hammonds, Cotton, McCray, Martin, and Johannes Tiemann. Johnson Odom, touch pass inside to Ledecka and he's dispossessed. Good defensive play by Ludwigsburg. Good play there by Cliff Hammonds. Just deflects the ball out of bounds. Two seconds on the shot clock now for Cesari in the white uniforms if you're just joining us. Carter off two screens. Let's fly! Josh Carter makes it rain with two seconds on the shot clock. Got free off a double screen. Absolutely knocks down a jump shot. Cooley in the game for the first time this half. Draws the foul here. Josh Carter. I love that bounce pass into the low post. You can see how Sasari have been trying to cope with Cooley. He double teams the ball every time he catches it in the low post. Now Cooley offers himself as a screener. Hammonds, this pass intended for Cooley, broken up, the pass ahead to Johnson Odom! And Johnson Odom with a flying dunk, acknowledges the pass, and Cesari have come out of the halftime changing room, the brighter of the two teams. That's an ill-advised shot, but Cooley gets the offensive rebound. Cooley is surrounded by a committee of white jerseys. And they forced to travel. This isn't the best of shots from David McRae. This is inexplicable now. Cooley's going to come out. I just don't understand the substitutions of Coach Patrick. Cooley was in for less than a minute there. Cooley must find it frustrating to be in and out like that. Sivanovic now in the low post with a mismatch against Martin. Draws a double, moves it on. Great spacing and passing by Sasari. Sitchevich throws up the air ball. with some pick and pop action. Let's fly with a three. That's a thing of beauty. So Calvin Martin threads the three. Left-handed shooter. Brings Lubbersburg to within two possessions. Shot clock running down. Cross-court pass. Savanovic has to heave up a shot. Strikes the rim. 
good defense there by Ludwigsburg as they push the ball away from the basket. Cotton's runner. Not the mark, but he was awarded the foul. Ledecka can't believe it. And to be fair, Ledecka's given ground. I believe Ledecka's probably got a case here, but referees really never change their mind, so it's just a matter of trying to influence them for the next call. So Ledecka is going to step out in the back of that foul. Personal foul on Ledecka. Kelp Cotton This is the first free throw. And in the second season with Ludwigsburg, played Euro Cup last year with the club. He's a recent graduate from Wichita State. 2015, where he's two-time defensive player of the year in the Missouri Valley Conference. Cotton right now <laughs> showing he can score a wee bit too. He's got 15 to lead all scorers for the visitors. Stipchevich, pass intended for the wing. Tipped out of bounds by Kone. And the Ivorian shows he can play some D. Gonzalez with a hold. Silly foul now from Gonzalez. It was a similar foul in the first half. Oh, great bounce pass inside to Ola Shaney. Easy lay-in. That's a textbook demonstration of pick-and-roll basketball. Ola Shaney couldn't miss from there. Again, pick-and-pop from Martin. This time he'll probe on the dribble drive. And his scoop shot. Earns him a trip to the line. So Martin, using his balance there, he's heading over to the Sasari bench. Toes the line here for his two freebies. Evan Martin, a graduate of Charleston Southern University from Adele, Georgia, originally. Here's one for two from the line that trip. Johnson Odom gets around the double team, gives it back to Stipcevic. Stipcevic lets him fly with a three. Couldn't find the pass, but he shows he can't leave him alone. Stipcevic. Classic pass first. Point guard now with a steal. Savanovic lays it up and in. Sasari with some good defense. And this will force coach. Patrick to call a timeout. And Dinamo Basket Cesari established their large lead of the game in this one. Nine points the difference here. This group E game on game day six in the Basketball Champions League. you some highlights from these opening minutes of the third quarter none more electric than that one right there as Darius Johnson Odom comes right at you takes the feed from Savanovic goes to the house
good timeout. He missed it. Provided some muscle presence. Good follow up by Boone. And players do this all the time in practice. They'll follow shooters in transition to the basket just to make sure something like that happens. They're right in the right spot. Stipcevic draws the foul on McCray this time. So McCray is his fourth foul. Coach Patrick leave him in. Little reach and Stipcevic showing his experience. To draw the foul. Stipcevic has played for his native Croatia on several occasions. He's been to the World Cup in Turkey back in 2014. And now he's just turned it over. I'm singing his praises. It's always the way, the curse of the commentator. Cotton, baby jump shot in the lane, no good. It's alive by Boone. We got a foul here against Dinamo Sasari. It's on uh, Josh Carter, so his second. And the team's fourth. Martin with a clean jumper. Kelvin Martin really starting to heat up. He's got 10. Past the midway mark of the third quarter. Good steal here. Martin, perfect timing. Can he finish? Of course he can. And Calvin Martin now, with a good defensive play, forces Cesari to call a timeout this time. And having trailed by as many as nine now, Ludwigsburg have halved the deficit on the strength of this good defensive play by Calvin Martin. You understand which kind of mistake we make now? You don't need that someone complain of you. You understand that it's clear. One ball is there and we don't want to fight to take it. Here there is one screen. Nobody is able to help for it to be on the screen. They go lay up and they dunk after, after fucking press that you are making. So restart playing. Restart playing. Take the ball, call three up. If they press play line at this time, okay? Look to run thumbs down. Go moving screen, try to turn the corner and get to the basket. Here we go, defense. One, two, three. Pick up full court. So good passes to play here from MHP. So a little pressure, some man pressure up the floor. There's Lacey in the game now for Cesari. He played well in the first half. Ola Shaney with the high ball screen for Johnson Odom. Ola Shaney goes to the 10 and the ball is just deflected out of bounds. Good defense by Jason Boone. has to be smarter here. Carter is a jump shooter, and coaches will tell you never foul jump shooters, especially when they're shooting threes. So Josh Carter steps the line here for his three free throws. Trying to extend the lead here for Cesari. The Dinamo Basket Cesari have that Three and two record so far. They won their opening game against Zelona Gora and then lost on the road in Hungary against uh, Sholnoki. Won at home against 
production is Spiro Charleroi, Belgium. And then lost again at IEK Athens, lost last week to Besiktas. And now they look at defense that possession. That was the turnover. Look at Louisburg, they had 12 turnovers at halftime, so a profligate with the basketball. Not the Germans. Johnson Odom has to step all the way out to receive the basketball, so good defense by Cliff Hammonds. Who's a cat, he got away with the travel. Ryan Zacchetti looking for a foul. And he's lucky the referee didn't call the travel. You can really see it there. This is an unorthodox bit of play. I can only imagine the referees didn't call the foul there because he didn't really have clean possession of it. Lead by seven. Here's Hammond now between the circles. Oh, delightful bounce pass to Boone. And Boone dives to the basket. It's a terrific bounce pass, which invites Boone to attack the glass. Savanovich with the foul. Didn't quite see the pass, just seeing the end of the play there. Boone with the left-handed finish. Boone has provided big production off the bench. Three play until the second quarter. This is free throw. He's got Ludwigsburg to within five. Mid-race mid jumper, no good. Here is on Jason Boone, who's trying to, trying to keep Savanovich off the offensive glass. His second, see if we see anything here. Apologies, you don't really see the angle. Sakati into the short corner. Lacey, good movement for Sasari. Johnson owed him, his shot no good. Savanovich with the putback, and that falls. Savanovic with 17, the leading scorer in the building. Sakel Cotton with 16. And Boone. Well, Boone just got his wires crossed. His pass was heading for a corner three-pointer. And Hammonds just got in the way. And the referee gets the call, right? Boone steps out, and Boone's played well, too. Jason Boone with eight points. Lacey keeps his dribble alive at the top of the key for Sasari. Lacey's pass finds the hands of Odom. His shot rims out. Cooley back in the game for... Reason. Partridge, Topper, he lets fly, no good. Cooley with the offensive rebound. Foul here against Ercole. So Jack Cooley will step to the line for his two freebies. Jack Cooley 
started his professional career in Turkey with the Trabzonspor Club. Called back to the USA for some time with the Idaho Stampede in the Developmental League. Got a call up to the UK, Utah Jazz in the NBA. Last season played for Unicaja Malaga in the EuroLeague. Another player with a good professional future ahead of him. Great steal by Hammonds. Hammonds just looking for the handle. Finally gets it ahead to Cooley! And Cooley lays it up and in, and you love it when your big fella runs the floor. So often it's a guard who's gonna get on this, and Cooley, he saw Hammonds with the steal, gets those long shoes down the floor. Savanovic had to go with him, but Jusko Savanovic commits the foul. And for Savanovic, this is a little story in the game now. Jusko Savanovic, Two personal fouls. And Cooley atones for his miss the previous trip to the line. Nets that free throw. He's got Ludwigsburg to within a possession. Good defense by Ludwigsburg as he hedges out of the screen. Does Cooley. This time stays flat on the screen. Ledecka. His pass picked off and then given right back by Ludwigsburg and an easy two for Ledecka. Well, Hammonds made a great steal, anticipating the pass to the corner. And he just gave it away. Well, Cliff Hammonds has got to be smarter now. He's picking up his dribble too early, not reading the screens well. Losing steps in here for Ludwig Burke, number 35. He'll help in the backcourt. Gonzalez can't get the ball in bounds safely. So another turnover for Ludwig Burke. It is their Achilles heel in this game. They have 18 turnovers. And Cesari very close to making them pay. That three ball attempted every bit of the basket but the bottom. Losing to Cooley. Cooley kicks it back out. Gonzalez, little hesitation. Spin the lane. Cooley couldn't gather the offensive rebound. Five seconds left. Ludwigsburg is trying to stay in touch here. As we close out this third quarter of play. Toppert by himself for three! And he knocks it down. Chad Toppert brings Ludwigsburg to within a basket in the waning seconds of the third quarter. Can Cesari respond here? Lacey on the left hand. Lacey gets deep in the lane. He's fouled. He earns himself a trip to the line. To Kel Cotton with the foul. This is a good foul by Cotton. Doesn't give up the easy basket. It gives him te his team 14 seconds to respond. Cotton with the Second personal foul. Trevor Lacey from Huntsville, Alabama, originally is a two time state of Alabama Mr. Basketball in high school, a parade All American. Started his collegiate career in Alabama two years and transferred over to North Carolina State. So, good young talent is Trevor Lacey. Just 25 years old, 20 miles on his clock still. 
Toppert, can he make back-to-back -back threes? He can! Well, Chad Toppert with a perfect end to the third quarter. And he brings the visitors to within one point. Well, the game started to heat up here on game day six of the Basketball Champions League. It's Group E action. And at the end of three, Dinamo Sassari are up a penny, 59-58 over Ludwigsburg. Well, Ludwigsburg, 50% from three-point land. Two of those coming from Chad Toppert, right in the last.